In this section, we are going to look at missing values and how to deal with them. There can be various reasons for having missing values. For example, if you are using some type of a machine to collect the data, such as a sensor, the machine may break down and we may have some missing values at certain places. Or if we are using some type of a form to collect the data, for example, there can be some optional places in this form and people can easily skip those. So whatever the reason, we'll have to deal with this. Let's see what we can do. The easiest way to deal with this is actually dropping the rows or columns that correspond to these missing values. And simply in our data, or maybe if you're using a data frame, we will go and drop those rows or columns. But we should be careful with this because by doing this, we're also removing some of the data from our data set. Another way to deal with this is actually fixing it. So we can impute or fill in some of the values for these missing ones. In this, we are also going to look at some examples from data frames and the scikit-learn library. Let's start explaining. For the numerical missing values, we can apply this average imputation. On this, we are going to replace the values with the average, average value in that specific column. Simply in the data frames, we can use this. We can give the name of the column and call this fill NA function. Another thing we can do if we are dealing with a categorical variable this time is to use common point imputation. In this one, we simply take the most common value in that column, again, it's the categorical column, and we just use that number as our fill-in value. And we can also use a placeholder for this. We can, for example, decide, decide if I have a missing value, I'm just gonna put minus one there, for example, for the, for the numerical values, or maybe for a categorical, variable, we can maybe create another category saying missing maybe. So these are all some different kind of approaches. And the last, we can do some type of advanced imputation. In this one, we try to predict the missing values using the complete data. So this is very advanced. Actually, we use a machine learning model to fix this issue. In this one, uh, we have an example. There is this AWS DataWeek tool that actually does this with some neural networks. And if you want to check it out, you can check this uh, GitHub link for that. So we've seen how to deal with this problem. We've seen examples from Pandas data frame, but in this class, we are actually going to focus on a simple imputer from scikit-learn. So let's see how it works with the scikit-learn. In scikit-learn, we are going to use this tool, simple imputer. We are going to use fit and transform. So for fit, uh, we are going to use our training data and transform, we will mostly use this with our test and validation data. Let's look at how it looks. We have these missing values. They are NAN, and we choose our strategy, and we can also use a fill value if we want to fill in with a specific value. For the numerical data, we choose our strategy as mean, so we replace the missing values with the average value, or we can choose median. In this case, we are going to take the median value and put it in there. Medians is usually less sensitive to the outliers. For the numerical or, or categorical data, we can choose the strategy most frequent. In this case, it's going to use the most frequent value. Or we can use the strategy called constant. In this case, we choose which value to use. In this case, we will also fill in this uh, parameter here with a number. And this is how we use scikit-learn to impute our missing value.